Hi, we want you to go back to the previous conversation. Can you find examples of the statements with have and haven't been? Now, we want you to stay for the explanation of the structure and use of the present perfect continuous. Present perfect continuous. Use the present perfect continuous for actions that start in the past and continue into the present. What have you been doing lately? I've been working two jobs for the last six months. How long have you been modeling? I've been modeling since I graduated. Have you been saving money? No, I haven't been saving any money. I've been spending it. Moving on. Present perfect continuous is a tense used for. A continuous or repeated activity that began in the past and continues into the present. It emphasizes the activity itself and its duration. Let's look at these examples. Jack has been waiting for over an hour. I've been studying since three o'clock. How long have you been studying French? And last but not least, we'll go over the structure of this tense. For affirmative, this is what we use. I, we, you, they, plus have been, plus verb, plus ing. He, she, it, plus has been, plus verb, plus ing. When in negative, we need to add the word not between have or has and been. And as always, in questions, the helping verb or the auxiliary goes at the beginning, followed by the subject, like this. Have plus subject plus been plus verb plus ing plus complement. Have you been saving money? Can you now work on the following exercises? How long have you been learning English? Why are you tired? What have you been doing? What have you been eating? Hello, Katya. How are you? Hello, teacher. Fine. Thank you. A little Hello. nervous. <laughs> nervous? Why? Because tomorrow. I told you. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow. And the message is tomorrow. I will operate. Yes. I don't know. Tomorrow is your operation. Yes. Mm -hmm. Es una biopsia quirúrgica. Yes, it's, you told me one week, right? Uh, what, teacher? It's one week? One week? Yes, that you are going to be at home? No, no. You don't uh, go to work? To, to work? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Tomorrow uh, or maybe Saturday, the, the doctors will tell me uh, how much days I will stay in my in my home, mm -hmm. uh, but if I feel better, I I will stay in the class. But the Monday, I think not. I don't know. Uh huh. How I, you you need to rest and recover. Yes. And, mm -hmm. yes. No yes. problem. There's something I don't know how to say. Easy. Because only is a biopsia. Mm -hmm. Chirurgica. Okay. Ah. Well, good luck and but it's the nervous. first time. I, I a, a little nervous, but but you is you have good doctors, so it's going to be okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Hello Maria, how are you? Hello, how are you, sir? I am good, and you? Fine, thanks. We are waiting to the class, okay? Oh, we are here. We are ready to present and explain. Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. Thanks, teacher. Good. Ana Vilma, how was your day? 
Hi, teacher. Great. Now, Vilma, do you play video games? Uh, no. Because your head uh -huh. look like for the video games, like, ah, do, 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 do. <laughs> so, <a> gamer. <laughs> those are from, from my sister. <laughs> and your sister plays video games. Yes, yes. Uh huh. Because I, I, you, you, you look and you, you see the, the red, the light, the head. Mm, right. I imagine. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Good. And what are your plans for this weekend? What are you going to do this weekend? This weekend, um, nothing in special, just rest, staying home, and I make uh, some earrings. Okay. Yes, mostly. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, good. So, that we're going to start off with our partners. We're taking a look a little bit about uh, describing our day, describing what we did. So the first thing we want to talk about is today with our partners, right? Uh, we want to focus on using our past tense, remember, uh, trying to incorporate the past continuous and only begin with asking your partner, hey, partner, uh, how was your day? What did you do? Where did you go? And uh, what did you have for lunch? What, you know, is this normal, not normal, different things, okay? So let's have our partners. Let me give you a few minutes. Not a long time, only, only a little bit to talk and then we get ready. Hey, Francisco, there we go. Let me send you to the group.
Hello, Anna, how are you? Anna, can you hear me? Uh, can you talk or no? Okay. All right, guys. Well, it's good that you're back and we're ready. We're talking a little bit about our days and talking about what we did. Okay. And that's the idea. The that's going to help us a little bit with the past tense. Today, we're also going to be looking at what it is a little bit different form that we talk about and that we use with the past. This is called, here we have, the present perfect continuous, okay? And this tense is like the name, continuous. It Hi. has ing. This is the main objective. It has ing. Now, always when we're going to have it, the difference is that the idea is that it actions start in the past and continues to now. That's the difference. When we talked about with our partner, hey, Francisco, how was your day? Andrea, how was your day? Michelle, this was the simple past. The present perfect continuous is from this morning to now. So I talk to my partner and I say, Vilma, Ana Vilma, how was your day? Oh, it's difficult. I have been working that means that she started in the past and continues to this moment this is the idea for but we're going to see the video and try to get a better understanding okay so let's watch the video and learn how we make it hi we want you to go back to the previous conversation can you find examples of the statements with have and haven't been now we want you to stay for the explanation of the structure and use of the present perfect continuous Present perfect continuous. Use the present perfect continuous for actions that start in the past and continue into the present. What have you been doing lately? I've been working two jobs for the last six months. How long have you been modeling? I've been modeling since I graduated. Have you been saving money? No, I haven't been saving any money. I've been spending it. Moving on, present perfect continuous is a tense used for a continuous or repeated activity that began in the past and continues into the present. It emphasizes the activity itself and its duration. Let's look at these examples. Jack has been waiting for over an hour. I've been studying since three o'clock. How long have you been studying French? And last but not least, we'll go over the structure of these tense. For affirmative, this is what we use. I, we, you, they, plus have been, plus verb, plus ing. He, she, it, plus has been, plus verb, plus ing. When in negative, we need to add the word not between have or has and been. And as always, in questions, the helping verb or the auxiliary goes at the beginning, followed by the subject, like this. Have plus subject plus been plus verb plus ing plus complement. Have you been saving money? Can you now work on the following exercises? How long have you been learning English? Why are you tired? What have you been doing? What have you been eating? 
Okay. Well, as you can see, this is the same idea for the structure. The structure is how we make the questions, WH, have you been, and the verb with ING, and then the complement. And it's the same idea that I mentioned. The actions start in the past and continue, okay? It's easy to imagine this with Netflix. It's very easy with Netflix. Why? Because with Netflix, you have many series. With Netflix, you have many shows, but you don't finish. You don't finish. You watch one episode today, one episode tomorrow, and then you have been watching the series. I have been reading the book. I don't finish the book in one day. I continue. This is the idea for this grammar structure. Is that okay? Any questions? No? Okay, let's see an example. Mirna, ask Javier a question. Uh -huh, Mirna, your microphone is on mute. No, Mirna, we can't hear you. Byron, can you, do you have a question, Byron? Yes, uh, actually, it's more like, I want to do an example, but because it's something that I, I don't know, well, I'm gonna say it. it, like around six months ago, I was an agent in the call center, but now I, I am a supervisor, but I don't know how to say it. Like, I don't know if it's okay in that way, but then now um, I already grow in the company. So, and then I will be confirmed in two months that I'm going to be totally a supervisor, something like that. I don't know if it's right or how can I say it? Okay, Byron, it's more or less your idea. Okay, let me help you. Okay. It's hey, Chad, I have an example. <laughs> Sorry, Mirna. I have the, the example. <laughs> the example? Yes. <laughs> okay, Mirna, go ahead. Go ahead, Mirna. Have you visited Arruina de Seren in El Salvador? No, Mirna. No. Could the, look in the look at the question. You need to use have, have been. How do you see? Have yes. plus subject plus being plus where ing and complete. Uh huh. Look at here. Look at yes. the example here. Mm -hmm. Okay. An example. Sorry. <laughs> no, no, no. It's good. That's why it's okay. Oh, That's right. why we practice. We practice to try it. Could, could be a question. Have you been eating healthily, healthily lately? Correct, Vilma. That Have is, you been eating, eating healthy, healthy lately? Lately. Yes. And for Byron is, for example, in Byron's answer or Byron's sentences, I have been working as a supervisor. Maybe, I don't know, Byron, two months, three months, and then the time. I have been okay. working as a supervisor for two months, for three months. Byron started in the past and continue to now to work and is probably going to continue in the future. Is that okay? It was, yeah, it was like I have been working as supervisor for two months, right? Correct. That's uh, correct. Mm -hmm. Now, you. remember, you have the same, the same presentation, the same video. You have in the access to the platform. This is video 2.8. In 2.8, we can see your sentence. Byron, I have been, and then the verb with ing, I have been working, and then a Maybe in the company, I don't know what company. I have been working um, since January, for example. I have been working since February, or I have been working for three months. 
Okay. Thank you. I got it now. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. You're welcome. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go with our partners and we're going to make questions. Remember, how do we make questions and sentences? Okay. Here, let me show you one more time. Here are the questions. Have plus the subject. In this case, have you then been, have you been, and then an ING. Oh, so have you been saving money for Christmas? Have you been working hard in your company? Have you been watching series on Netflix? Have you all of the questions that you want with have you been? And the answers here we have, I have been, and then the sentence, I have been working hard. I have been watching series on Netflix. I have been reading a book like that. I don't know if, is that okay? Or it's okay for everybody? Yes, yes, it's okay. Yes. Yes. Ah, okay. okay, okay, good. Then let's try one more time.
Okay, so how do you feel? Do you feel comfortable making the questions? Alex, please ask Henry a question. Alex, you are on mute. You are on mute. Hello, hello. Now, yes. Okay, Alex. Yes. Oh, okay, okay. Oh. We talk with uh, with Anna and I. I asked her. Hey, I think when we when we use, for example, since or maybe from, for example, I have I have been. But ask ask Henry a question. Let's see. If a real can... question. Yes, go ahead. Ask Henry a question. Uh, but uh, uh, using the example, have been yeah. or no. Correct. Using question? have been. Oh, but a question. Oh, I, I really. Uh, mm. Have you has been? Have you has been exercised last month? No, Alexander. No. Yeah. Had no. you exercised? Mm -hmm. So 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 not exactly. Had you been exercising? Mm -hmm. Almost, almost, Henry. Francisco, let I try? Oh. Mm -hmm. Uh, have you been yeah. making exercise in your notebook? Okay. Mm -hmm. Only have you been doing exercises? Doing. Uh, ah. Doing. Yeah, doing. Uh -huh. doing. And Henry, have you been, right? <laughs> have you been exercising? Have you been making mm -hmm. okay. with ING? Let's try one more example to make sure it's clear. Let's mm -hmm. see. Arla. I, ha I have a yes. question. Yes, yes, Francisco. Okay, um, I I built the uh, grammar construction. The question: When I die, I do I doing dialogue with another person. Have you? Mm -hmm. But um, but if my question is for third person, mm -hmm. uh, what is the structure, grammar structure correctly? The same, the same grammar structure, but we change have has, and has. Has, okay. Has Only he has. been, has, has he been uh, watching Netflix exactly. lately? Okay. Yes. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, she has mm -hmm. doing exercise. No, mm -hmm. she has been doing exercise. Yes, Henry, that's yeah, correct. Yeah. That's correct. Doing, mm -hmm. doing, has been. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Carla, mm -hmm. ask Javier. Carla, ask Javier a question. Oh, wait, I think Carla doesn't have a microphone. I think she put- Carla, a question. Is, a microphone is not working. Yes, 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 I remember, I remember now. I have a question. Yes, mm -hmm. Have you been seeing a good series in Netflix or in HBO? Good, good. Only we don't use the word seen. Have you been watching? Watching. Have you been watching a good have you been series? Watching a good series. Okay, Javier, have you been watching a good series? I'm sorry, I can't hear. Ah. Vilma, ask again. I have a problem with the oh. connection. Yes. Have you been watching a good series? Yes, I have been watching series in Netflix. 
Oh, sorry, sorry, Francisco. Sorry, Francisco Javier. The other, the other Javier, Javier Ernesto. Ah, oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes. <Is there? laughs> But it's good. It's chair. Javier Ernesto. Yes, Maria. Uh, Carla wrote the the question. Yes, the yes, yes. I, I saw the question. So Javier Ernesto, there, the question is in the chat. Okay. Do you see? Carla wrote you the question. She says, have you been swimming all night? Ah, okay. You have a problem with that. Okay. okay. No problem. Ana Pineda, Oi. problem, no problem, Javier Ernesto. Okay, Ana Pineda, please answer Carla's question. Have you been swimming all night? Have you been swimming all night? No, I haven't swimming. All, I haven't been swimming all night. Hey, there's the answer. I haven't been swimming. Very good. Okay. So now you have the idea. Okay. okay. Perfect. So now we're going to go ahead. And with our partners, we are going to complete 2.9. 2.9 is only select the two words to complete the conversation, to complete the question and the sentence, okay? So for this, okay. we read and we select. This one, we don't need a lot of time, only a few minutes with our partners to check. So this is 2.9. Okay, let me change the time.
so so sorry to check what's your name. My name is Edwin. E Edwin. Edwin. Ah, Edwin. Okay. Thank mm -hmm. you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay. Okay. So, it's okay. Do you feel comfortable? Yes. 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 Okay. Good. Yes. Okay. Uh, let's try some examples. Let's make sure that we're okay and let's see it together. Okay. Let's, okay. Uh, let's start with Byron. Byron, what was number one? Have. <laughs> what, have, what have you been lately. doing lately? Mm -hmm. The first and the last one. Yes. Okay. So what have you? Mm -hmm. And doing all right. Let's continue. Yeah. Who, who can do the next one? Have well, I have been, uh -huh. first have been spending. Second. Well, I have been spend. Mm -hmm. I have the been second. spending. The second. second one. The second one. Mm -hmm. Money. Money. Second. But this one. I have been spending. Yes. 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 Okay. What about here? Have. First one. Working. First one. Yes, sir. The first one. Yes. And, and the, the second third one. one. Being worked. The second one. No. No. I don't watch the third, third one. Third one. Okay. okay. Yes. Okay. Perfect. What? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Mm -hmm. I have been yes. making. Yes. Yes, I no. have. Yes. Have. Yes. And the last one. Last one. I've been making. The last one. Okay. Yes. Yes. Good. What about How? the first one? The first one. Have. The first one. Last one. How, how would you? Mm -hmm. How have you been feeling? The last one. Feeling. The last one. one. Feeling. The last one. Feeling. Okay. Yes. Okay. Good. Here. Being I've been getting. I've been getting. The first, getting. The first one. I've, I've been getting. First. I've yes. been getting. In the, In the last. last I haven't been and I haven't been, I haven't been eating. Okay. Okay. Yes. And this one. The first have one. Have, first have you? First. Have you been getting? The second. Been getting. Been getting. The second. Yes. Okay. All right. And All right. our last no, one. I haven't. Haven't. The first, first, one. first one. And the, the last, last one. one. And the last one. one. Okay. Yes. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. excellent job, guys. Okay. Okay. So, perfect. Um, here we have all of the answers as we can see Good job now we're going to get and go to our next topic our next topic is about reading and it's about different ideas of reading we have different child prodigies in the whatsapp okay. group, i already sent the the reading in case you would like to see it clearer or bigger what you're going to do with your partner is you're going to take a moment and read the three stories we and answer the five questions. Okay. So with your partner, you're going to read the three stories and then you're going to answer the five questions. If you want to make it bigger, you can make it bigger only by clicking in the little arrow. I'll show you just to make sure it's clear. Okay. So for example, for me here is difficult. Even with Zoom is difficult. So what can I do? I click here on the arrow and then it opens another window. And here it's easier to read. Then I can make it very. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Okay. And okay. so it's in the chat. I mean, it's in the um, WhatsApp chat. Okay. So for okay. this one, with your partners, read and answer the questions. Okay. One more.
okay, everybody. And bye bye, Anna. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's take a look and make sure that everybody did it correctly. First, okay. First, yes. I'm going to read so you can hear the pronunciation of the words correctly in case you had a mistake. Okay. 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 So for this part, please put your microphone on mute so that everyone can hear. Okay. Other musicians have described Sarah Chang as the most wonderful, perfect violinist they've ever heard. What makes this praise especially surprising is Sarah's age. She's only in her 20s, and people have been describing her this way since she was a child. On Sarah's fourth birthday, her father gave her a violin. By age five, she was accepted at the famous Juilliard School of Music in New York City. By eight, she was performing as a violin soloist with major orchestras. Since then, Sarah has performed around the world and recorded many albums. Before Michael Kearney was born, the doctors warned his parents that he might have learning difficulties. He's been proving them wrong ever since. By the time he was four months old, Michael could say full sentences like, what's for dinner, mom? By 10 months, he could read words. Studying at home with his parents, Michael completed four grade levels each year. At 10, he graduated from college with honors. And at 14, he received a master's degree. Now in his late teens, he is teaching and working on his PhD. When Alexandra Necheta was two, her parents gave her some crayons and a coloring book. Alexandra was soon working in inks, watercolors, and by the time she was seven, oil paints. At eight, Alexandra had her first art exhibit now a young adult, Alexandra is one of the most recognized artists in the world. Her paintings are often compared to those of Picasso and other great artists. They have sold for as much as $80,000. She has been on TV many times and several books of her paintings have been published. Are there any words that you don't know or any words that are not clear? I, I the pronunciation of, of what is it for? the violin solo soloist 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 that's right soloist mm -hmm. I, I have a question but, but it's a, a complete sentence for example he's been proving them wrong ever since i i don't understand what means that wrong ever since uh, ever since it's the the doctors told them that he maybe has <laughs> difficulties and he has shown or he has demonstrated that they are wrong since they made that diagnostic. Uh, okay. Okay. Because uh, Alexander not have problem to, to learn. No, no, no. He learned yeah. very quickly. Correct. He is advanced. <laughs> he is he is a genius. Mm -hmm. I have a question. Yes, sir. Okay, my question is what those means PhD at the end of the second story. Mm, PhD. It is a it is the word for a doctor. A, a doctor is a PhD. Oh, okay. A okay. professional doctorate. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. I, I can are. I can use doctor or I can use this They're PhD. The PhD mm -hmm. is that the, the education. So for example, I can be I can have a PhD in education. I can have a PhD in science or psychology, oh. but the doctor is the medical one. Oh, okay, okay, I, I understand. Okay. I understand. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other words? Mm -mm. No. Okay. Then let's okay. Take a look here. What did you and your partners select? How do other musicians describe Sarah? The most wonderful, perfect violinist. Good. 
Who yes. gave Sarah her first violin? Her father. Her father. Mm -hmm. Where did Sarah go to school? Yes. School of, of music. Of music. Yes. 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 Okay. What did doctors tell Michael's parents? He might have a lot of difficulties. Okay. And whose work has Alexandra's been compared to? Casos. Casos. Hey, 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 very good job. All of those are correct. Good. Okay. So as you can see, now we completed unit two. This means that on Saturday, Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, all students must complete or have completed unit two in the platform. Because next week, we have two activities. Next week, we have section three, and we also have the exam. The exam, okay. if you remember, the exam is units one, two, and three. Great. So next week, we're going to complete two activities, unit three, and we're going to complete the exam of unit one, two, and three. Okay. 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 So in this moment, we're going to practice more speaking. And our speaking is going to be for our routines or plans for the future. As an example, on Sunday, I usually go to church. This is simple present because it's my routine. On Saturday, I work in the morning is my routine. But if my plan, ah, I am going to go to San Vicente to visit my family. I am going to go to Santa Ana to see Rafael and have a few beers. I am going to go to, uh, to the beach, whatever. It's different, okay. my plan is different than my routine. With our partners, we're going to ask and answer questions about our routines and our plans for this weekend. Okay? Okay. All right, perfect. Let's go with our partners and try it. Nice to have you back with us. So can you tell me which movies are playing in theaters right now? Can you tell me which movies have you seen? The next conversation is about two people trying to decide which movie to see tonight. Try to listen carefully for details. What's playing? Part A, listen and practice. Do you want to see a movie tonight? Hmm, 
Maybe. What's playing? How about the new James Bond film? I hear it's really exciting. Actually, the last one was boring. What about the movie based on Stephen King's new novel? I don't know. His books are usually fascinating, but I don't like horror movies. Well, what do you want to see? I'm interested in the new Halle Berry movie. It looks good. That's fine with me. She's a wonderful actress. Now that you have listened to the conversation, tell me what happens next. What do they decide to do? Write it on our discussion box. Yeah, her last movie was especially good. It's probably one of my favorites of all time. Actually, I didn't see that, but I heard it was just okay. Well, I'll call the theater and find out what time the movie starts. Hello? Could you tell me what time the new Halle Berry movie is playing tonight? I'm sorry. The Halle Berry movie closed last night. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Thanks. You won't believe this. It's not showing anymore. It just finished playing last night. Oh, no. I guess we're back where we started. Why don't we just see what's on TV tonight? That's fine with me. Okay, guys, great job. I'm glad that we learned the present perfect continuous. Remember, this is the important for today's grammar is have been an ING. Been. Have been. I have been studying English since January. I have been working for 10 years. This is the objective. On Monday, we are going to begin unit three. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much for coming. I uh, hope you have a great weekend and I'll see you on Monday. Okay. Thank you, Thank you so much. You too. Have a nice day. Bye. 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 Take care. Take Bye. care. Have a good night. You too. Bye.